Welcome to another tutorial of carbon bodies, in this case about the FFT Fast Fourier Transform. In this package, the developer will be able to get information from a set of data, in this case an array, and transform it into the frequency domain, from time domain to frequency domain. In order to understand this, let's check the different scenes that we have in our project. First of all, we have a scene that is called example 01, time to frequency. If we hit play, you will see the following. You will see first a chart on the top that has an evolution in time domain of a, a sinusoid with different comp components. If you go to the time frequency script, you will see that you have a sampling frequency that is calculated in the script, y values that are the points that are being added to the sinusoid, and then we have also um, the frequency amplitude and phase that are also arrays. So if we want to modify the aspect of this chart, we can go ahead and change the frequency of one of the uh, of the elements of the array. So for example, if we add here 10, we'll see how our sinusoid is going to change because of the fact that we have two frequencies that are really close. And we can see that in the frequency domain by two peaks that are in those two positions. If we change the amplitude again of one of them, I'm going to change the, um, the frequency again in order to make it more uh, easy to see the waveform of, of it. Okay, I'm going to change now the amplitude to 20 of the second one and you will see how the behavior changes again. So you can play around with these values in order to generate this uh, fun um, yeah, function in time, and then you can perform the Fourier transform of it. So that's all regarding the first scene. Um, let's go to the second scene. The second scene is going to use a filtering uh, function that is going to transform the uh, first chart that you can see here with different peaks that correspond to the ones that we have defined in, in here in, in the script. And it's going to filter, in this case, with a low pass that is going to uh, get only the lowest frequencies. So you can see how this is transformed to this uh, chart. And then the low frequency has more importance than the higher ones, which are like uh, suppressed from the, the signal that is going to be the signal of the input. Let's go to the third scene in which uh, what we have added is an uh, audio clip and an audio source. And in fact, what we are going to do in this scene is import our clip, as you can see here, and draw the time domain response of that signal and then analyze it in the spectrum. Uh, domain. So this is going to be the evolution of the sound in the time domain. As you can see, the, t the sound is going to uh, to last for one second and seven seven hundred milliseconds, and that is re represented in this line here. That is going to be the timeline. And then here we can see the evolution of the frequencies of this uh, value. Okay, so this is all regarding the three scenes we have. Let's explain a little bit the script of the fast Fourier transform. The fast Fourier transform is a script that will uh, enable the user to calculate the spectrum or the information in the frequency domain. So in order to do that, we have to send the, as you can see here, the input is going to be sent 
as a complex and the output is going to be also a complex. Uh, we have added to the documentation how this is achieved but we have also written here the different steps that we have uh, followed. So in fact what we are using is the Colley Torque algorithm that you can see here and what it does is, is um, it divides the discrete Fourier transform that's going to be really mm, slow in order to obtain real data transformation so it divides it into an algorithm that uses an even and an odd part and those even and odd results are achieved by recursive calls to the function. So that's more or less how it works. Now we are going to explain how you can use it in your script. So for example, let's go to the example uh, 01 that is going to be the, the one that draws first um, a signal that is going to be a sinusoid that is done here, okay? And then what we do is call this line here that is the most important, this one here, sorry. What you have to do is use the fast Fourier transform point FFT and the input signal here, here that is going to be set to complex. Okay, and then you can use true or false if you want to invert or not that signal. And this is all because this is going to be another complex that you can use in the future. So remember that a complex number has an argument and a module. So use the module in order to show your results. That is this uh, line here in which you can see that we are using the complex apps uh, function in order to obtain the module of that complex signal. And I believe this is all regarding this pack. I hope you are interested um, in buying this, this package and downloading it from the asset store. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial.